Hey guys, Tom here. Today I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to make it rain. Stick around. The first step is to remove the old shower head neck. I just take my pliers and spin the old one right out. Not worry about marring the finish since I'm putting on a new one. Since I have everything off, I'm taking a few seconds to clean the wall of any rust or grime that was behind the old scutcheon. A couple good wraps of Teflon tape will keep this from leaking. I'll make sure I wrap so the tail end of the tape is pointing to the left when I tear it off. Next, I just put the new spout neck in the fitting. I make sure I get it started right and don't cross thread the fitting. This will make a bad seal and could damage the pipe or the fitting, leading to a more expensive fix. I'm just making it hand tight for now. Tighten it further, I wrap the spout with a rag to protect the finish from the jaws of the pliers. Then I tighten it carefully, helping it along with my other hand. Once tight, I align the spout by sticking the rubber handle of the pliers in the end to get a little more leverage. Again, you see me helping it along with my other hand. Before putting on the new shower head, another few wraps on this end will prevent leaks and give it a tight seal. Remember, the pipe is pointing the opposite way, so I'm wrapping the tape in the other direction. Don't forget to put the new escutcheon on before the shower head. I've made this mistake more than once. Finally, just spin on the new head. Hand tight is probably fine, but use a wrench or pliers if you want to. So there you have it. In a couple minutes, with a couple tools, you save yourself $100 for a plumber to come out and do that. Until I see you next time on Homecraft Chronicles, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, take care.